I asked my husband to take my daughter to Girl Scouts. It's a random Monday night. For some reason, I'm just feeling really low energy, and I'm not feeling that great, hun. Can you please just drive her? It's five minutes away, and she's got to be there in 15 minutes. And he says, no. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I mean, like out come the claws and the fangs and the cobra hood and the whole thing. Like, how can you not be there for me in the times when I'm most in need? And why aren't you supportive? And what's your reason? And you don't even have a good reason. And you're just doing this out of spite. And our daughter's going to suffer because of your spite. And what kind of person are you? And I'm asking for your help. Like, who says no like that? And on and on and on. The drama. He held to his no. And in that moment, I realized this doesn't feel good. And all that matters is that I have to feel good. So I had asked myself, what feels better? to stay in bed and to relax and to allow her to miss Girl Scouts would not have been the end of the world. And in fact, she herself was very understanding and okay to miss. Or would it feel better to take her? And the truth is after that exchange, I didn't want to be in the energy of the house and my son was running around and it would probably have been hard to rest. And the idea of her going to Girl Scouts and having fun and all the activities they do actually felt exciting to me and it didn't feel like too much so I took my snuggly blanket and I dropped her off and I felt really good about it and I knew I had made the right choice because it was the choice that felt best for me not because of anything else and I took a nice hour and a half long nap while she had her meeting with my car seat heater and my snuggly blanket in peace and I came home and everything had kind of diffused emotionally and things had settled and we just went to sleep and got to wake up and do my sort of practices to be in a good space again that morning. And it took me about a week, but I realized that, you know, I want him to be able to say no. I didn't think his reasoning was good. It was, you know, that he had already done three days of basketball and one day of capoeira and was just feeling like that was my activity and he needed to be able to assert a no to me. So I didn't like his reason, maybe didn't agree with his reason, but the truth is he was meeting his own need. And I do want a culture in our family where I can meet my own needs and he can meet his own needs and we're not resenting each other for it, right? And a friend of mine also pointed out that, you know, it's okay to tell your children, hey, I don't feel well, and you are such a powerful manifesto. I know that if you really are strong about getting to Girl Scouts, that you will manifest a way over there. Who knows? Maybe she would have talked to her dad, or maybe she would have called her grandma, or um, maybe he would have allowed her to call the troop leader. But I don't want to strip her of the knowing that ultimately it's going to be her who meets her own needs in life and that she's fully capable of that and to allow her to think outside of the box and um, solve problems, right? So that's one lesson that came out of it. The other lesson that came out of it was that it was my choice to have the claws come out and have that whole reaction because he could have said no and my response could have been, okay, awesome. Um, now let me go figure out what feels best for me knowing that, right? Which is ultimately what I did anyways. In the past, that would have looked like me taking her out of guilt. And because I felt like she was going to suffer or because I felt like she needed me. And none of those are frameworks that I want to operate from in life anymore because the more I operate from that place, the more I'm embodying that place, the more I'm going to attract experiences, situations, and people that match that place, right? So a lot of lessons in that no for Girl Scouts. And the last one being that, oh, I realized how much I don't say no to him. Even when the truth is I just 
don't feel like it. It just doesn't feel good. And ultimately, we shouldn't be doing anything that really doesn't feel good. Yes, we do things for other people, but it's because the giving of it or the charity of it or the outcome of it actually does feel better um, to us, even though we're depleted, you know, seeing the smile on somebody's face or uh, whatever it is. So even those ultimately really are choices of feeling better, not obligation, right? So the last realization, yeah, had to do with, wow, I think I really have trouble saying no. And I attracted this experience because it reminded me that I can be okay and it's my choice how I want to react when I hear no and that I can say no and it's the receiver's choice of how they want to react too and not my responsibility. There's always one in every situation that doesn't feel good. The sunshine.